gosh, I'm a freaking biology student and I can't say this crap. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Christine, coming back at you with another video. So you guys can already tell by the title, it is a favorites video. I know this is kind of a crazy time and I want you guys all to basically focus on yourselves during this time. It's literally the perfect time to do it. Focus on your skin. Focus on your hair. Focus on your healthy well-being. And that is why I'm doing this video today to show you guys my favorite skincare items and my favorite hair care items. So let's just dive on in it. So first off, if you guys haven't seen my Function of Beauty video, I highly suggest you go watch it because that is the first item on this list is Function of Beauty. A lot of the YouTubers use this. Mine is not sponsored, but I really, 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 really love this item. It smells amazing, makes my hair stupid soft. It's helping with split ends. It's helping lengthening my hair, everything in between. This is, and without a doubt, a favorite of mine. Next, my next favorite is this crazy, weird doohickey right here. It looks really weird, but it has an amazing function. This little guy I got off of Amazon, it's basically a head massager for the shower. You use this while shampooing your hair, and it basically, you go like on your head while you have the shampoo in, and you are basically massaging your scalp. So instead of using your nails, ruining your pretty cute manicure you just got, you're going to be using <laughs> this guy right here. It feels Oh, crazy, oh, crazy good, good in the shower. shower. Take a moment to yourself, get one of these. These are even like, they're stupid cheap too. And you just massage your head all over. It helps with blood flow in your scalp. So it also helps getting that hair growth, length, volumize what you want. This, even if it didn't help with the blood flow and lengthening my hair, this is honestly just an amazing relaxing item to use in the shower just massage your scalp. This product was actually recommended to me by my sister Danielle, so shout out to her. I love this item. Next is Oribe Moisturizing Cream for the hair. I tried this bad boy like a year ago. Tried a bunch of other like leave-in conditioners for after the shower and then I ended up coming back to this one because I loved it so much. It is kind of pricey though. It retails for about $52 but it is honestly worth every penny. You only need about a dime size to, I'd say a dime size to a quarter size amount depending on how long your hair is of this product. So you can make this last a while. It smells amazing, but the main function that it does for me is it hydrates my hair really, really nicely. So right after I get out of the shower, I will just put a dime size to a quarter size amount on my hand, run this through my hair with my fingers, comb it right through, and it helps me keep it hydrated so long. You can either work it into the damp hair or you can also put it into dry hair. It says use on strays throughout the day. So you can use this on stray hair throughout the day, but I really only just put it on right after the shower and it conditions my hair. It keeps it hydrated. Like the function of beauty also helps with hydrate, but this is like a supplement to the function of beauty. I really, really love this item. Next on my list is a brush. May look like an ordinary hairbrush, but if you have been binge watching hair care videos, you should probably already know what this is. This is a boar bristle brush. This is really nice on your hair. I cannot, like, if you don't get anything else from this video, please at least get this. This is a like, amazing lifesaver for anybody who has a lot of issues with lots of hair loss. So if you are brushing through your hair and you are taking out a huge chunk of your hair, this is great for that. This also distributes the natural oils in your hair, so it is also helping with hydration. Like honestly guys, I've had such a huge problem with hydration with being blonde before, so this is another one of those things. Hydration is key for my hair. So this is my other favorite is using a boar bristle brush. Helps with natural oils. It helps by not pulling out your hair as much. It's super soft. Like it's not hard to touch and depending on where you get it, it either can be pretty pricey or I think I believe I got mine at Target which wasn't too bad. It's soft on my head so it's not hard on the scalp. If you use a brush that's really hard on the scalp that can also cause dry and irritation. This will not. This is amazing. Next is simple but still effective is silk 
scrunchies. I love scrunchies in general, but I have found that silk scrunchies are my absolute new favorite. I use them all the time. They are so nice for not pulling out your hair, not getting it caught in your hair, your hair's not gonna get caught in this. I will put my hair up in a bun every night to prevent my hair just getting knotted and matted in a silk scrunchie and then it still comes out soft and beautiful the next day. But definitely a great investment just to keep your hair from being yanked out because that's not good for your hair. It is not. Last on my hair care, which also helps with your skin. So that's why I'm doing it last because it is my segue to going into my skin favorites because it's hair and skin and nails. It is Halo Beauty Supplements. These bad boys are to die for. These guys, if you do not do the subscription, I believe are $39.95 a month. They come with 60 pills, you take two a day, helps with your hair, helps with your skin, helps with, I'm running out of fingers, your nails, <laughs> and it is honestly amazing. This has helped my hair a lot too, especially with growth. It also makes my hair, again, super soft. Like, I think if I had to give up everything else, this would probably be the last thing I gave up besides the boar brush because this has honestly tremendously changed my hair game so much. Halo Beauty, my savior, I love it. Thank you, Tati Westbrook, shout out to her. She was the one that created this, she's another YouTuber. Bless her soul. These are honestly the best supplement I've taken for hair and I've taken Biotin, Sugar Bear Hair Care, and everything else in between and this is honestly my favorite. Now we are on to beautiful skincare, guys. Skincare is something I have recently ventured into. I honestly did not pay too much attention to my skin up until now because I have honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I've been very lucky and I've had minimal acne my entire life. But then as I ventured into my adult years, hormones, stress, college, everything in between, I was like, I need to take care of my skin. First on the list is this Neutrogena Body Clear Body Scrub. Um, you can pretty much get this from anywhere like Target, Safeway, Smith's, wherever you live in between. It helps treat and prevent body acne. Y'all, if you have back knee, boob knee, if that's a thing, butt knee, which I know is a thing, I hope these are all words. I'm just going with the flow. This stuff is amazing. It's an exfoliator too. So all my girls out there who do self tanning or just tanning in general, this is also really nice to use before you go tanning. It's going to scrub off any dead skin. It has salicylic acid for the acne treatment, which is really nice. Overall, this is really good for acne, self tanning, just a normal body scrub in general. I love this product. So this is my first on skin favorites. Next on skin favorites, oh my gosh, this is my top skin favorite. If I had to give up everything on my skin favorites, this is the last thing I would choose. Like if I had to give everything else up just to keep this item, I would keep this item. This is Ultra Gentle. Neutrogena Daily Cleanser. It's the foaming formula. It's dermatologist developed for sensitive skin. Who knew? I did not know I had sensitive skin until I started using this product, <laughs> which is honestly crazy. I also found out after using this product that uh, my skin does not like charcoal based products. And literally before I started using this for like two years, I was using a charcoal face cleanser and I still could not figure out why I was having acne on my chin and my forehead and I found out my skin does not like charcoal and also I found out my skin is sensitive so this baby even if you don't have sensitive skin I honestly would recommend at least trying this because this has been a definite game changer for me for my skincare routine I absolutely love this item and like look at this bottle it's pretty big and I don't remember it being that expensive and I remember this I remember buying this like a month, a month and a half ago, and I, I want to say I at least still have a fourth left. So this is also really amazing, a bang for your buck. If you guys have sensitive skin, but don't have the money to go out and buy Proactive or Curology. I have tried Curology. It's amazing if you can afford it. Do that. 
But if you can't, if you're a broke college student or if you just really just can't afford Curology overall, this is actually a product Curology recommended for me for a facial cleanser. So if Curology recommends this, I think y'all should try it. I love it. This is my recommendation. Go try it. It's worth it, honestly. Thirdly on my favorites list for skin is this cute little guy. This is basically just a nice, soft, silicone exfoliator. I take my Neutrogena, pump it on this, scrub it all over my face. Like I said, I didn't know I had sensitive skin until I honestly started using like Curology and this Neutrogena product. You don't ever want to put anything kind of rough on your facial skin. So this has also been really nice for my skin. And then it also has this cute little hook to just smack on your bottle. Definitely, my third recommendation is this cute little soft silicone guy so you're not using your hands while you're cleaning your face. You're getting a deep, nice, clean. Fourth on my list is another Neutrogena product. Guys, I have fallen in love with the brand Neutrogena. Like, the last two months, I cannot get enough of their stuff because it works for me. It honestly has made my skin soft and clear and smooth and feels clean. So this little guy right here is Neutrogena's Hydra Boost Water Gel with, gosh, I'm a freaking biology student and I can't say this crap, with hyaluronic acid on it. Basically it is a moisturizer, so I put this bad boy on right after I wash my skin with the Neutrogena wash. This has also really helped because it does not clog my pores at all, which I was also having an issue with. I was using like a Nivea cream, I believe, and that was also clogging my pores. I had no idea it was doing it until it was too late. I was having freaking acne everywhere and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm washing my face. I'm moisturizing my face and I'm still having acne. Guys. It's probably because you have sensitive skin and you need to use specific items. You can't just use super cheap items, which honestly, like I said, the Neutrogena's are kind of a bang for your buck. I probably also had this for a month, a month and a half. I'm just now getting to the bottom of it. I believe this little jar was probably somewhere around $15, which is kind of pricey for how small it is, but it has really helped my skin. This helps, highly recommend. Next, which I probably should have done before the facial moisturizer, but I'm doing it now. This cute microfiber headband, I use this to pull all my hair back while I'm washing my face because I hate getting hair in the way and then it gets wet and I'm like half of your hair is dry and like the front half is wet from washing your face and you're like just wanting to go to bed and we're like it's frustrating. It came in a three pack off of Amazon. It came in three different colors. It's super soft and it just makes it easy to wash my face especially at night before I go to bed. This is not a necessity. It is honestly just a favorite because it helps with the annoyances of my hair. I love my hair, but it can be annoying. Last on my list for skincare, honestly, is not a necessity, but I really love it, is the Hemp Nation White Peach and Hibiscus Lotion. This is also a tan extender for all my ladies out there who either do spray tans or regular tanning. Judgment free here. I do it too sometimes. But it is really nice to extend your tan or just overall, it's a really, really nice moisturizing cream for your legs, your arms, your body, everything in between. It smells amazing and the scent is somewhat strong where I kind of like it strong because then it lasts the whole entire day and so I can literally smell amazing the whole entire day. I put this bad boy on right after I get out of the shower. It smooths over my skin. I don't have those weird white dry patches after I use this. It's honestly one of the best lotions I've used and it also helps i don't know if any of you guys ladies have this or if you can even see it i do have basically kind of like red dots red patches right here i've always had it i know there's a name for it i don't know what it is but this has really helped with keeping this more moisturized so it may look a little red it may look a little splotchy but 
my skin doesn't feel dry or bumpy anymore. I just, I really love this item. I really love the smell of it. And it's pink. Well, it's peachy. It's peachy pink. It looks cute in my room too. Overall, it's really good for people who tan or if people just really want some nice moisturized skin and they want to smell good. It's also not expensive either. You can get this entire bottle off of Amazon. I want to say for 20 bucks, but this bottle lasts you a while. Love this. It's great. And that is it, guys. Those are my top hair care favorites and my top skincare favorites for March of 2020. You guys made it through this entire video. I thank you. I hope that you guys find this somewhat helpful. You guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you know the spiel. Put it down in the comments below. If you guys like this favorite video and want to know more favorites, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. And that is it, guys. Bye!